this is July 4th, 2022, and I'm giving you an update on my butterfly moth garden. Over here is passion vine, and it's host plant for the variegated fridlary and the great leopard moth. Over here is Virginia snake root, and this is Aristolochia serpentaria, and this is Aristolochia macrophylla, and it's host plant. These are both host plants for the pipe vine swallowtail, and yeah, they've been laying eggs on it like crazy. Uh, then I have um, cherry trees, and I have willows, and sugar maple, and I have um, a little teeny black walnut, um, hackberry, I have spice bush, I have another cherry, a choke cherry, um, and these are all host plants for different moths and butterflies. Um, then we have the common hops, which is host plant for the question mark and the eastern comma, and straight ahead of us is the hop tree, and it's host plant for the giant swallowtail and eastern tiger swallowtail. And then we just have, we have a um, red clover for the orange sulfur and the eastern tail blue and some nectar sources. Uh, then we have uh, the native red honeysuckle for the snowberry clearwing. And we have some pentas nectar source and a host plant for the Tursa sphinx. Um, then we have over here is my tulip poplar tree host for Promethea and the Eastern Tiger Swallow, tell to name a few. And here's False Nettle for the question marks, Eastern Commas and Red Admirals. This is my oak tree um, host plant for many different species, including the Promethea. And then I have um, a Prairie Willow, and it's for the Red Spotted Purple and Morning Cloak and Viceroy to name a few. And then I have Common Rue for the Black Swallowtails and the giant swallowtails and then i have some milkweed of course for the monarchs and i have pearly everlasting for the american ladies and right there is a red at or a viceroy to talking about viceroys yes they lay their eggs on this um and this is wild black cherry and it's host for the red spot of purple and the eastern tiger swallowtail and the, many other species um, and then in here, we have more nectar sources, and I have a banana um, that I keep many species like to eat overripe fruit. So I leave the skin on and just make a little cut in here, and then it stays juicy for a week. Um, let's see, I have um, Verbena bonariensis. It's a great nectar source, and I have lots of milkweed in there for the monarchs. Um, this is, over here is my nana berry, and it's Nanaberry viburnum, host plant for the hummingbird clearwing. Uh, let's see here. And then I have um, the hackberry tree and its host plant for the question mark, eastern comma, American snow, I.O., many, many, many species. And then here I have my pawpaw tree, host plant for the zebra swallowtails. And I have Staghorn sumac, host plant for the lunas. And way back there, I have wild blue indigo, host plant for, oh, uh, let's see, the wild indigo dusky wing. And then I have fennel, host plant for the black swallowtails. And here, um, I have another prairie willow here. And in the back, I have more um, false nettle. I have stinging nettle, host plant for the question marks, red admirals, and um, eastern commas. I have um, wisteria back here, host plant for the silver spotted skipper. I have uh, narrow leaf plantain, host plant for, the, oh, let's see, the com um, common buckeyes and the painted ladies and the Baltimore checker spots, to name a few. And this here is my spice bush, and it's host plant for the spice bush swallowtails and promethea. And then around the corner, I have a prickly ash, and it's host plant for the giant swallowtails. And I have some more 
um, Aristolochid macrophylla here. So I just wanted to give you an update on my butterfly moth garden. Uh, things are starting to pick up now. Uh, we haven't had no rain though for a long time. Um, this is more pearly everlasting for the American ladies. But um, yeah, we haven't had any rain for a while, so things are not growing quite as fast as they normally would. But um, yep, I just wanted to show you this and um, I may do another update a little later in the season. We'll just see. So happy butterfly and mauving.